All right, folks, hello. Welcome back to another quick UE5 sort tutorial. And in this tutorial today, we are going to be going over how to set um, or reset or move <laughs> your pivot offset point. So real quick, um, in Blender, this is known as the origin point or origin. Um, I think it's just called origin, but it's a little dog. Uh, it's a little dot or, you know, a little circular thing. So I just call you know, origin point. Um, it, but in Unreal Engine, it's known as the pivot. So the pivot point. So if we were to use this as an example, this little white orb. So if we were to look at the gizmo, you have the three arrows pointing out, you know, representing each three axes. Um, you know, we have the Y, X, and the Z. Now, if we were to look at the little white orb, that is our pivot point. So if we were to uh, rotate this, it pivots uh, um, from wherever the little white orb is. Now, of course, that means if we were to move this, let's say over here, and then rotate it again. Now, see, it's going over wherever that orb is. Now, here's the thing. What if you go to import a mesh, right? So you, let's say you just imported this cube and the pivot point is over here and you want it inside of it. Well, how do you move it? Well, one thing you can do is just, if you use the middle mouse button on the white orb, you can actually just drag it, right? So middle mouse click on the white orb specifically, not the axis, that won't, that's not gonna get you what you want. It has to be directly on the white orb. Now, you over here, you drag it, boom, perfect. Now, if you wanted to move it, well, now you notice something. This is actually reset it to its um, original position. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I was to do this over, right, let's just, you know, for tutorial sake, <laughs> let's say I imported this model and the gizmo was over here, well, the um, pivot point was over here. So if I wanted to drag this over, right, I wanted it, I want this to be where it is. So now let's say if I move, if I just go over here and now you can see it's went back to over there. Now, the reason why I know it looks corny because I, I made it happen because it didn't happen by default because I actually made this cube and the, and the pivot point was actually set perfectly, but I needed it. I needed it not to be perfect. So I had to set it on video. I know it's stupid, but <laughs> okay. if you get it, you get it. It's fine. OK, but the point is, if you have this issue, right, whereas whenever you um, set the offset point, well, at least whenever you move the origin, um, the um, and then, you know, you go to like, you know, realign it. It just keeps resetting itself. The reason is you have to actually select the offset. You have to um, set the pivot point offset. So to do that, one, you have to move the origin to wherever you want it uh, or the pivot. I keep saying origin again. I'm used to it in Blender. It's called the origin in Blender. But in Unreal Engine 5, it's known as the pivot. So that's what I would try to refer to it from here on out. So remember, uh, middle mouse click the uh, white orb to move the pivot point. Now, if you deselect, so if you click on anything else, you click back on it, it'll move it back. The only way to stop that from happening is to right click on it, right click on the model, and then click on pivot, and then set as pivot offset. Now, if you deselect, you go back to it. Now it has set it to right where it is. Now you have another option as well. You can actually reset the pivot offset to wherever you right click, right? So what do I mean by that? Let's say I wanted that pivot offset over here. Now with this model selected, I'm going to right click over here and I actually just select that model. Okay, that's great. Let's try that again. If I right click, okay, that's not working. Let's say I wanted to be, uh, let's say I wanted the offset in the clouds. Well, let's say I wanted the pivot in the clouds. So I'm gonna right click over here. And now, as long as this cube is still selected, we're good. So I, I right clicked in the in the clouds, go to pivot, and if I click on set pivot offset here, now you can see it's moved it to wherever I right clicked. Perfect. Now let's say, okay, well, you get the idea. It was perfect. We're in perspective mode, so it wasn't exactly in the clouds. Regardless, you get the idea. That is how you go ahead and reset the uh, pivot offset location. Now I. I I think I am going to make a part two to this video in the future because, you know, some people, they're going to want help realigning this perfectly, you know, from whatever location they're at. And they're going to be running into issues if they try to do it um, as a, you know, as a non-knowing individual. <laughs> and if you've ever struggled with this, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But to, to explain that in detail, I mean, this is going to take 10, 15 minutes and that'll make this video even longer. And I don't want this to be that long. I'm not in this part, so maybe in the next part, I'll actually do uh, you know, a detailed explanation on the pivot point settings. Um, that way you can fix that if necessary.
But regardless, now you know how to move this. So again, middle mouse click, right click without deselecting. So right click, set as pivot offset. And now we are good to go. That is all of it. Um, that is all I have for you today because I did not want to make this tutorial so long because I actually I actually did re-record this like this is like my eighth or ten time um, because I was trying to include all of it, but it was stretches like 15, 20 minutes, and I didn't want that for you. So a simple five and a half, six minutes is good enough. Um, again, if you do want part two, then let me know, and then it, I can immediately do that in, in my next video. Otherwise, I'll just do it some point down the line, or I might just do it in my next video regardless. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, folks, that's all I have for you today. Best of luck to you in your UE5 endeavors, because as always, it's difficult when you don't know what you're doing and knowing how to reset or move this pivot offset point is something you're going to need to learn how to do.